everybody android support relational database so you could very easy in android great local database have relation mean you have number of tables and there is a relation between one table and another this type of database in android will be sql lite that's mean we will create a relational database using sql lite will be stored in local phone just remember this point so before I going through how to use SQLite in Android, let me give you an overview about SQL language. So to get started, I very highly suggest to go to SQL browser and download SQL browser on your computer. I already downloaded, so I will just open it here, looking for SQL browser to open it. There you go. If you see, this is the SQL browser. So to create database, I just will create a new database. Let me name it. Uh, Students. Okay, just to show you. If I want to create table, let me say uh, Logan. For the Logan, what I need, I need number of field. I need field one should be the ID for the student. This ID should be integer and should be a primary key. Okay, and also I will add another field will be username and will be this one text and whatever you want to add additional information like not null whatever i don't have other information and the third the third is password so this is the information which should be also text if you see i here's the sql statement the sql statement is a great table name it logan a great one id one field name it id as integer username as text password as text and primary key will be on id this is the SQL statement. So you have to you have to know about this language if you want to go if you want to have a lot of database if you want, want to have a database and there is a relation between your tables. So you have to understand SQL language. So this is the, the real code and this is what we will use it in Android. Well, this is the visualized thing. So that's nice to know how to work with this type of data. So if you see this is my table. If I go to then let me go to browse and try to add a new record. For example, I will add a new record. I will give it uh, some information. So let me give it this one as username Hussein. And uh, I will give it as a password one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there you go. I will just add another new record. I will say Jenna and the password, whatever you want to give a new record. I will say Leia and the password, this password. This is the data that I have now the table. If I refresh it, this is my table. If I go to select all the data, I will say, okay, select star from table login. For example, I'm looking, um, I want to bring all the data from table login. If you see, this is the data. If I say, okay, I need just the ID one. Okay, I say where ID equal one. That's mean just to bring the one that have ID equal one. See, he bring us in. When ID to equal two, you just bring Jenna. This is something for filtering. If I say like in this way, uh, like, then I would say one star H, then star. When I make sure, I don't, I'm sure you will not see this, what I'm writing, but what I have to do, say username, just making sure, just I'm searching by, by, by name. So, okay, username, where username like, in this way username like this one I will execute the statement he bring only CM so if I want to bring only the username not all the data so I will say okay select username from Logan just select it only one column so how how to bring in data also you could delete columns so delete columns you could edit any any row you have it whatever you want to do I really encourage you to to design your database using SQL browser. For example, you design this table, then second table, then you create a relation between all your tables, then you just copy this code to your to your Android Studio. So you will understand when I use a great table in Android, you will understand what this means. So yes, here we done and see you next.